Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now today I have here something very fun to share with you. Now as you may notice from my previous videos with the Mi Pad 5 or the Mi Pad 5 Pro for instance, uh, it is really a productivity beast right here on this guy. Now today I'm going to show you something on the next level and that is PC mode with the Mi Pad 5 right here. Basically PC mode transforms this tablet here into something very similar to how a laptop really functions. So today I'm going to have uh, my device here set up like how I have my PC set up. I have my wireless keyboard, my wireless mouse, and I'm going to show you what kind of potential you can get just from the Mi Pad 5 right here, which is actually pretty mind blowing. Um, before I start off the video, of course, if you can support the channel by just giving this video a like or a sub to the channel, that would be very much appreciated, guys. All right, without further ado, let's just jump into the demo right away. All right, guys, uh, welcome back to demo section of Lim Reviews. Today, I have here my Mi Pad 5 setup in how I usually set my device up. So for starters, I have my wireless mouse right here as well as also my wireless keyboard. So you can't really see it on the screen right here because this is demo session. But yeah, you can actually connect any mouse that you want or any keyboard that you want. For me personally, to keep things everything wireless, I've got my uh, dongle right here. So I plug it into my wireless mouse and keyboard. All right, so as you can see on the display here as well, my cursor, everything is already connected to the Mi Pad 5. Again, this demo will work with both your Mi Pad 5 as well as your Mi Pad 5 Pro. They both perform very similarly. So right here on my desk, um, this is PC mode already set up. All you need to do is install an app to actually get it running. It's super, super simple, guys. And for now, I've actually arranged my desktop applications here in how I usually use my laptop. That means on the left here, I have all my productivity tools. In the middle section, those are all my favorite Google applications. And in this section here, uh, these are just a couple of additional stuff that I may use during my productivity stuff. All right, so as you can see in a PC mode right here, everything looks like a laptop. You have your start button right here where you can actually go through your applications. It is very, very interesting actually to actually see all this stuff on the Mi Pad 5. So obviously the fonts are a little big here. So this is where you get all your apps that are already in the Mi Pad 5. Over here, you do have a search button right here that goes into your uh, search your entire Mi Pad 5. Apart from that, we do have a couple of applications that I have already started up here. So as you can see, there's quite a fair bit of applications already open, but it's still running very smoothly. Um, before I talk about those applications, let me show you more about this uh, operating system here. So again, you can actually pin apps to your taskbar like how I have pinned this um, file manager here. So notice that whenever I close it, it is still here because it is pinned to my taskbar. Now moving on to the bottom right section here, here you do get a couple of very useful stuff. If you hit this little arrow at the bottom here, this is where you get into your control center. So you can adjust your brightness levels. Uh, you can also adjust your volume levels, a couple of stuff here as you can see on the display. Now, if you go into your battery mode, this is where you see the amount of battery remaining. Again, this is very similar to a Windows laptop and I love it because it's so cool. Um, you also have your tiny clock at the bottom right corner right here, which brings up the calendar, a pretty obvious stuff right there. And if you hit this notification button right here, this is where you go into your notification bar and you can see all your notifications on the right. Now, these are also a couple of uh, useful buttons here because uh, you might need it when your app is in full screen. So you have your home button, your back button, as well as your multitasking button all over here. All right, so we're gonna go back out for now and check out a couple of apps that actually work with this. Uh, I wanna start off very quickly with the productivity apps because uh, I already have them on the left. So we're gonna start off with Word right here. Obviously, you see I've already connected my keyboard, so you can always just uh, testing this out with Microsoft Word. Now, it works fine. But if you notice here, the window only opens in a small window like this and you can't really maximize the size of the window. So that is something of a bummer here for me, in my opinion. One thing you do need to note very importantly here is that not every app here launches in full screen. So this one doesn't. If you go into the PowerPoint mode as well, this one also does not launch into full screen. So again, a quite a bummer here in terms of productivity tools. But for example, if you use your Google Docs here, again, this doesn't expand into the full screen mode, but you are still able to use it very conveniently here because all your tools here work very similar to the mobile version. So, okay, this one doesn't work like that. Again, if you go into your Microsoft Teams, I'm sure a lot of you guys are at home. Uh, maybe you're working from home or you're just studying at home. Microsoft Teams here works very nice. Uh, I can put it right here. And if I also need to use my Zoom, uh, just check it out. I've already installed it and I have my Zoom right here right away. Of course, you can have multiple apps open at the same time. And if I just go into my Telegram right here, which I've already opened right here, um, this is your chat so you can check out as well. So take a look at this, guys. Uh, we have a couple of applications already open up. Very cool here. And 
if you notice at the bottom here, it is very small, but you do have a slight transparent bar at the bottom and that shows that your application is currently open. Uh, you can always close it at any time, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Of course, uh, right now I'm just going to go and clear everything right here. So it's, it's less messy, but let's say you want to go into your music. Let's say you press a play button right here, right? And you have some music going on. Uh, again, very cool thing here is that just like how it works on your smartphone, you have that shortcut on the right here. Very, very, very cool stuff. All right, now we're going to go into YouTube right now. Um, obviously, YouTube also works very similarly to the mobile. You can't expand your apps here. So these are just a couple of apps that won't really expand to the full size. But now let me show you a couple of uh, apps that actually are able to go full size. So we're going to minimize this guy right here. I'm keeping everything open here. and You can see it's still very smooth. We're going to see the, the local browser mode here. So this is actually the, the native browser app. And I've actually able to minimize and maximize the size of this application here. So it's very useful, uh, especially if you use the native browser app. Don't worry, this also works with Google Chrome here surprisingly well. So notice here that now it is in a very small mode on my, on my desktop right here. But if I just go into the maximize, it goes full screen. And of course, it works with your control T to get into your next tabs. And again, I'm just going to show you the verge very quickly here because it's just uh, very beautifully laid out like that. So very nice here. Yeah? If you want to minimize this, just drag down from the top again and just minimize this thing. And of course, you can just put it down here at the bottom. All right, next thing we're going to check out that actually works in your native mode is of course your calendar. A lot of native apps actually works in full screen mode. Obviously, my version here is the China version Mi Pad 5, Mi Pad 5 Pro. So everything here is in Chinese. We don't want to check out that. Um, apart from that, we also have your notes here. Very important thing here. A lot of you guys have to take a lot of notes. So you can also go into full screen with your notes here. Very convenient. And of course, just minimize it back to a smaller screen. All right, so in terms of the window sizes, like I mentioned here, not everything is optimized for the PC mode at the moment, but you are still able to get quite a fair bit of uh, applications here open in full screen mode. Now, Overall, I would say that the experience with this PC mode right here is that it has a lot of potential. Because for example, just take a look at this guys. I'm gonna open everything here, just so you can see. And notice how many apps are actually open right now. We have tons of apps here all over the display, you know, and it actually doesn't lag at all. And one thing about this is that I notice that whenever I minimize the applications, for example, it stays there. It doesn't get shut down in the background. So that's pretty cool here about the Mi Pad 5 as well. Again, I think this is a very, very solid and, and again, full of potential kind of device right here because once uh, Xiaomi updates this um, PC mode kind of application, we're going to see it being use much, much better than this. And it can actually maybe in some instances replace your laptop. So very cool stuff here uh, being done on the uh, Mi Pad 5 Pro. All right guys, so now that we're at the end of the video, all I can say here is that there is just so much potential for the Mi Pad 5 Pro right here. Again, this device is coming in at a very affordable price point and I just see so much uh, things that you can do with this regardless of it is productivity or is it your entertainment. Just so much potential guys. Um, all right, I think that's pretty much what I have to share with you. Again, if you do support the channel, don't forget to like this video or maybe sub to the channel. That would be very much appreciated guys. Uh, thank you for watching to the end and I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Bye!